Can I go and see some crocodiles? All right, welcome to another episode. We are currently at Shady Cairn, and this uh, episode is going to be about Kakadu. But um, this Shady Cairn, I'm just reading, uh, considered to have the highest concentration of large saltwater crocs here in Australia. So this is a viewing platform, and we've already seen like three big salties and one little freshie. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, <laughs> just in. Who needs a cruise? Yeah, I know. Just in ten, like literally ten minutes of being here. But um. Yeah, to get in here, you sort of, it's on the way to Kakadu. It's a little about a 50k detour. Um, we'll show you the campsite a bit later, but yeah, this is the start of our Kakadu adventure. Whoop, whoop. What did you say? Yeah, purple tea. Purple tea? Yeah. Holy moly. Yeah. That's a big one, isn't it? Yeah. Shady Camp is known for its crocodiles and fishing. It has a freshwater and a saltwater boat ramp divided by a barrage. Campsites are large and roomy with plenty of space. Most have their own fire pit. So yeah, it's just your national park fee, so you just gotta go online and book there. Um, but yeah, Shady Camp, it's pretty pretty basic, but if you like into your fishing or just wanna have a look at crocs for the night or a couple of nights, this is your place to go. We have decided to have a salad and I'm pretty proud of it so I'm going to show you. A chicken salad. With chicken, there's got maple syrup, a bit of Worcester sauce. Oof. Yum. That looks good. How's that for a non-packet mix on you, eh? Everyone's going to be going like, what? I know. <laughs> I did the salad, you did the chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Teamwork makes a dream work. Anyway, we're gonna have this. The boys are pretty tired today, so I think we're gonna have an early night and um, get ready to do Kakadu. Sounds like a plan, Stan. All right, we'll see you guys in the morning. So this is the start of our Kakadu adventure. We come from Shady Camp last night, and actually I have to tell you, I went for a walk last night to the barrage, and I've seen the, the biggest croc I've ever seen. It would have been way over five meters. Anyway, anyway. We hit the sign, this is Kakadu. Our first stop is what? Mill Campground. Mill Campground, it's next to which crossing? Cahill's Crossing. Yeah, yeah so we'll take you with us. You're gonna get permits to come into Kakadu if you're not a Northern Territory resident. 40 bucks an adult and then I think 25 a child. Yeah. And that's just to drive into the park. So then you've got to pay for your camping and everything on Which top. Which is, as, as we've been having a look on Wiki, they're all different prices. So make sure you have a look on Wiki and make familiarise yourself. Tea time at the zoo before we do some adventuring, boys. Mm -hmm. oh what have you worn, Finny? <coughs> You've already finished lunch, have you? Lennox? <laughs> You're not in the best of mood today, are you? <laughs> <laughs> Salad wrap, thanks, Mummy. How good does it look? Mm. Alright, so we've unhitched the van and we are off to explore. Um, everything looks sort of close from this campground, so um, yeah, we'll go and see what we can find. <laughs> bit of makeup. Yeah, bit of makeup. Alrighty, we're off to Cahill's Cross and we've ditched the van, that anchor, and um, we're going to see some crocs and then some rock art. So here we go. Do you want to go and see some crocodiles? Yeah. Let's go. This is Cahill's Crossing, famous for watching big crocodiles feed on mullet and barramundi as they swim over the barrage on the right tide cycle. This is one of our favourite spots in Kakadu, seeing 20 plus wild crocs waiting for fish to swim by and snap them up. 
Fun fact, Kakadu houses around 10,000 crocodiles. That's about 10% of all the crocs found in the Northern Territory. We could have stayed here all day to watch these incredible reptiles. It was a pretty cool experience. That, how many? 23 crops? We saw 23 on top of the water and they say like if you can see... See that on top you can there's small like double that or bottom. not double the same on the bottom that you can't see but we just timed we just fluked the timing where the water was coming across the, um, the barrage but yeah that is an awesome awesome uh, experience. Cool. We've seen a few crocs getting, um, getting a few fish that was cool. And then Finlay and Lennox started uh, cracking the shites. The crocs get more fish than us. <laughs> Should have fed the boys with crocs. Yeah, I know. Oh, that's not... We've had a good run on the fish lately. Uh, that's funny. Here we go. So, literally, what, five minutes down the road? Yeah. From Kale's Crossing uh, is this art site. So, we're going there now. Come on, boys. This 1k return trip is going to take a lot longer. But he doesn't want me to pick him up. <laughs> He's being stubborn like an old mule, Lennox. Are you walking off your lunch? <laughs> you need to. <laughs> Big boys having a rest. Yeah, I could nearly fall asleep in this chair. <laughs> She's hot, eh? Yeah, I know. Carl was saying 38 degrees. So. He gets a beer, I get me lemonade, and we'll probably just sit here, cook dinner, and uh, early night again tonight. I'm buggered. This heat knocks me around, hey? It takes it out of you. Everyone, it takes it out of everyone. <laughs> All right, I have no idea what we're cooking for dinner. That's going to be a last minute decision. Hey! Hey! <laughs> Don't laugh! You <laughs> ruined the face mask. I'm relaxing. I'm hydrating. <laughs> <laughs> Plus, I'm hot. <laughs> yeah, you are. <laughs> All right, look, I'm not very good at pronouncing any town names, but we have just um, driven through Jabiru. Um, we're not staying here. There's two caravan parks, um, the resort sort of style with um, restaurants in, in them. But, yeah, it's just yeah. a little town really, yeah. you got everything, swimming pool, Yeah, shopping hospital. centre, yeah, yeah, bit of everything. And then I guess you can venture out to the different places in Kakadu. Alright, so we're at Kul near Kawinda um, and we are at Yellow Water yeah. Wetlands. So we're just going to have a little walk, apparently the walk's not too bad, so we're just having a few snacks. And um, yeah, we'll go on a little walk, see what we can find. Yeah, this is where you can do a boat tour. The boat tour is like oh, 109 yeah. bucks. Yeah, per adult. Yeah, but we're not doing that because we've got our own boat and we've seen... Yeah, anyway. We're not doing that because... We're tired asses. Yeah, <laughs> we're on a budget. <laughs> Oh, big boys into the kitty snacks. <laughs> what are you having here? What are they called? Dippets? <laughs> <laughs> big walk. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a banana. We've only gone 100 metres and all we've done is complain. <laughs> it's a never ending battle. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> like a camel. What are the boats for? Uh, boating? <laughs> nah, they do. This is a cruise. Get up. Yeah. <laughs> 
500 metre walk through this like little wetland bit and you can see the barra, the barramundi just cruising um, throughout the weed and we've seen a croc but he went down pretty quick. Um, yeah, so probably head back to the car now. that is but um yeah they've left them at the entrance to go on down to McGook which is Barramundi Falls so we'll see how we go we're gonna tow ours in anyway if we thought we'd just let you know it's easy to get your van down here we've just done it heaps of parking at the end too yeah all right now let's go on this very very hot walk <laughs> I shone bright and my journey was over. What I saw when I ran was back around. Go, Lennox. No yeah, I reckon there would be a few crops, Lennox. We'll feed Finn to him first, eh? It would be a little tip back for him. I'm coming home. Good job, Lennox. We've opened the gate. Don't turn off the night I'm <laughs> Top five for Kakadu National Park, what you need to know. Number one. Check what's open. Yes, if you've been to Kakadu, you would know we've missed a few spots, and that's because they went shut, Nutto, and not getting in there. So check if they're open before you go. Number two, don't forget to purchase your permit pass. So in order to go into the National Park and drive on those roads, you have to um, book a pass. Last for seven days. Yep. Number three, uh, the time of year to visit. Obviously, the later in the um, dry season you go, the less likelihood of running waterfalls and all that sort of thing. Um, they do do two seasons. It is open in the wet season, so i um, not sure how you go with swimming and all that then, but... Each their yeah. own, and things might be closed. Just be aware of that in the wet season. Yeah. Obviously, <laughs> things yeah. get flooded. And it does get busy there, so... Number four, caravans, camping, all that sort of thing. There is numerous caravan parks um, and camping, national park camping. So caravan parks, I would maybe book and do your research again and see if you can get in. Yeah, very busy, um, especially in the dry season. Very busy in the caravan parks. Yeah, so sort of you might need a bit, bit of a plan. So the other option is national parks. Now, when we were there, they were still um, coming around with cash, but I think, don't quote me, they're in the transition of trying to get it online. So yeah. just yeah. double check. Double like check. I said, do your research. There's heaps of info out there, especially on the national parks website. Last but not least, number five. Fuel. <laughs> so Kakadu is sort of a big loop you can do, and it's about 800 k's from memory driving in and out to a few places so if you can get 800 k's worth of fuel you won't be paying um, uh, the exorbitant prices near the caravan parks in the little towns um, there is fuel there but it's a lot more expensive than, um, than normal yep anyway there's your top five if you have any questions about Kakadu National Park also put them in the comments we're happy to answer what we can um, but yeah Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week for a Q&A. A special thanks to all of our Patreons for your ongoing support. It helps us to continue to share our travels with you all through our weekly episodes. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and we'll see you all next week. Thanks for watching.